Well, here we are with my uh, MiG-25. It's got a wingspan of 1,060 millimeters, so a little over a meter. <clears throat> it's a, a twin 64 millimeter EDF build. And here you should be able to see the two EDFs. It has a uh, servo for each elevator, each rudder, and each aileron. And of course, it's got dual ESCs. Specs are that it weighs uh, 1,280 grams uh, without battery. And right now, I just have a 3,000 uh, battery in there, but I'm going to be able to fit another battery in there. So uh, that's 350 grams. I'll probably put another 200 in there. So all of flying weight should be right around 1,850 grams. Uh, the thrust out of the motors should be about 24, I measured it before, should be about 24, 2,500 grams. So it should work okay. I do have a carbon fiber spar in this wing, so hopefully that's enough from the beginning to uh, keep it aloft without folding or bending the wing. Here we are, we're gonna have Maiden. Call it the Big MIG, based on the MIG-25, but more of my fantasy version, foam board, scratch built, and uh, we'll see how, see how it goes. It's got twin 64mm uh, EDFs and controls on the elevator, uh, ailerons, and the rudder. Just running a 3000 HRB pack for the Maiden. I get this thing dialed in and I like the way it flies, I'll probably invest in a bigger pack. Alright, Kevin's going to launch and then we'll get back on the video. Well, that sounds cool. <laughs> Sluggish. I think it's a CPU feedback. Whoa! <laughs> I probably could have landed a little slower than that. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Right over the ground. Uh, yeah, I was like, where I couldn't tell if you're on the ground or still going. Carbon fiber. Um, this is from a kite that I had left over. Time to install the wing. I've test fit it. Got all the servos installed. The bottom there's not going to be buttoned up till I have the motors, which are still a couple weeks out. 
being installed. So here we are, got the watt meter. I have zeroed it out, well, close to zero. And I've got the motor in there. So let's give her a show. <laughs> So here, motor's installed, and things are stuck down, They're glued down at these connectors. Get those in place and ready to install the thrust tubes. So thrust tubes installed, got a bit of wiring to fit through that little hole there, but uh, getting closer.